I'm Jorge Ribas with Discovery News, and he's Mike Slay, and he's Jay Harrod, and both of them work for the Nature Conservancy in Arkansas, where I recently visited to learn about the different types of animals that live inside caves like these. So what kind of animals might you find right here at the uh, mouth of the cave? A lot of the animals you'll find here are similar to what you'll find on the surface. Further inside, cave critters fall into three categories. A troglozine is an animal uh, that you'll find, sometimes find in an entrance like this, but it's an animal that has to come out of the cave for part of its life. Now the next sort of level is called a troglophile, and that's an animal that spends its whole life underground, but it also can be found on the surface. An example of that might be a cave salamander. Now the third category is troglobite, and that's the animals that are only found in caves. You never find them on the surface. They're often morphologically adapted, behaviorally adapted to this life underground in these subterranean environments. That often means no eyes and no skin color, a trait shared by many cave adapted animals. There are variations on the animals that you'll find up here. And it's almost kind of like then they, some of them decided to go into the cave to follow the water down and then exactly. evolved separately down mm -hmm. there. Once they got into the system, they, they figured out with their life histories how to stay there permanently and they became cave adapted. Or they just took a wrong turn. There's a really cool uh, big old millipede here. <laughs> Narcius Americana is the scientific name. This is one you find on the surface. I think he's a little lost. I think he's a little lost. Does he sting? The way you said that sounded like slightly, a little slightly frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to make sure not to put my hand on as I go by. Do he's... they sting? No, they don't. That's actually a good question. They don't sting. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.